In this video, I will show you how to deploy a React.js application on GitHub using GitHub Pages. So this is my React application and it is already open in Visual Studio Code. So this application requires a backend application, which is this Node.js application. And it is based on JSON server. So here we can see that the server is running. Now let's run the React application. So here on the console we can type npm start. And we obtain this application. So it is available at this port number. And we can see that we have this e-commerce application that is using the data of the JSON server that is running on this console. So in this application, I am using React Router. So we can see that we have different pages. Now let's deploy this application on GitHub. So first let's stop the application. Then let's go to GitHub and let's create a new repository. So let's click on repositories, then new, and let's create a new repository. We can call it my store. Let's select public and let's click on create repository. So this repository is created successfully. And now we need to configure the React application to be accessible at the URL slash my store. First, we need to build the application. So here we can type npm run build. So here we can see that the project is built successfully and is configured to be hosted at the URL slash. But in our case, it will be hosted at the URL slash my store. So we need to set the field homepage in package.json. So let's go to package.json. And let's create a new property called home page. And its value will be the name of our repository. So it should be slash my store. Let's save the file and let's build the application again. So this time we can see that the project is configured to be hosted at the URL slash my store. Now let's go to the folder of this application. So this is the folder of the application and we can see that we have this new folder called build. So we need to upload these files and folders to our GitHub repository. So let's go to GitHub and here let's click on uploading an existing file. Then we need to drag and drop the files and folders. So we should not use this link because it will not work. Let's go to our folder, which is the build folder. Let's select everything. Then let's drag and drop. Let's wait to the end of the upload. Now let's scroll down and let's click on commit changes. And here we can see that the files and folders are added to our repository. Now we need to publish the application on GitHub Pages. So let's click on Settings, then Pages. Let's select Deploy from a branch. Then here let's select Main and let's select the root. Then let's click on Save. So here we can see that GitHub Pages source is saved successfully. But for the moment, the application is not published. So we need to wait a few seconds, then let's refresh the page. And now we can see that the application is live at this URL. Let's click on this button. And we obtain this application. Let's test the different pages. So here we can see that we can access the different pages, but if we copy the URL, then we open it in a new page, we obtain this error. 
This is because the URL slash products slash 33 is not defined at GitHub. So in the next video, I will show you how to fix this error. Also, in this application, we are able to access the images that are available in the GitHub repository. So let's go to the repository. And here we can see that we have the images folder that contains this image, which is the image that we have in the home page. Also, we have this image which is the image that is used in the navbar, in the window, and in the footer. So in this application, we are able to display these images because the application is configured correctly. So in the next video, I will show you how to configure the application. Also in this application, we are reading the product details and images from the Node.js application that is running on my local computer. So if we try to access to this URL using another computer, we will not be able to read the product details. So in the next video, I will show you how to deploy the Node.js application on public server. In the next video, I will show you how to configure the React application to display images from the GitHub repository. Then I will show you how to configure React Router to run correctly on GitHub pages and how to deploy Node.js application on a public server. You can find the video link in the description.